the stuff, and he has two girls with him, you know, and I'm all drunk, I'm like an idiot, you know, with my friends playing pool. <laughs> so he goes, I'm next, you know, so he puts his, like, fucking four quarters now. Yeah. And uh, so then he goes, uh, here, let's play. So the guy, he has his own stick, you know. Oh, boy, you're in for trouble, yeah. don't you? So we're playing, and uh, he's missing by only like a millimeter every time. You know? <laughs> but I win, like I win. I beat him eat handily, but like wow. he's the worst hustler of ever, right? <laughs> so we're, we play for a dollar. So then he goes, now we're playing. He goes, he goes, now we're playing for a hundred dollars. Uh -uh. <laughs> like it goes up to a hundred from one, and I just beat him every fucking. You know, so I go, no, I'm not. What? I'm, like, I'm not playing. I'm taking my four dollars and going drunk. Home. You know, I go, I'm ahead a dollar. I was kind of an idiot. Yeah. Like, I'm ahead a dollar. You know, I'm not playing you anymore. Ah! And so the guy goes, oh, he's all mad. So uh, then another guy played, and then uh, stupidly I gave the other my friend advice. And then the, the big giant guy hit me with the cue across my oh, head. Wow. And I looked up, and the cue stick was right in my head. And he goes, I break people's bones for a living, motherfucker. <laughs> what? Oh, whoa, you're kidding me. Yeah, he sounds story. like Football Williams, that guy. That way, I was like that. Oh. But Norm, so that was my story about my Norm, pool hustling uh, days. Uh, you should keep that one to yourself, the <laughs> pool hustling story. <laughs> but, but, but Norm, <laughs> shouldn't tell that on radio. Yeah. Yeah. But Norm, <laughs> I don't understand something. <laughs> You go to these underground clubs and you play these cards, and it's a lot of money. You're talking about a couple of uh, grand, right? You're talking about maybe I lost 20, a couple grand. of grand. You're talking about 160 million. <laughs> like, you're talking about it's like when no, Johnny but... Carson tried to be like, "What's a loaf of bread cost nowadays?" Is this crazy? No, I'm saying I, I, got, I got news for you. It's like with two grand. It's like two grand. I wouldn't gamble a hundred dollars. Yeah, but he's not a gambler. I've seen how he get mad over it. ten bucks. I yeah. don't like to gamble. Yeah. I find yeah. it uh, insulting. That, in other words, yeah. I find making money, you know, is a very, especially where I grew up, is a very hard thing for a lot of people, and it's a it's a tough thing. And to just piss it away in a gambling situation. My old man felt the same way. Offends me. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, my father would think that too. Right, but you play for big bucks, right? I mean, no, they're twenty, thirty grand right. a clip, I'm right? Trying my best. Well, oh, you don't remember what happened with this place when we came, when we got we were there all night. Yeah, tell the truth. And we, well, we were there. I don't know what Norm played that night. He was playing all night. I lost two thousand myself, you know. Right. But uh, so. Uh, we came here and Norm accidentally said the name of the place. Oh fuck! Do you yeah. remember that, Norm? Yes, because the guy did not care for that. A guy called up. A guy called up and said, "Yeah, listen, Norm. Uh, like later in the afternoon, he said, time. listen, we appreciate you coming here, but uh, we don't we don't have a fucking publicity department. <laughs> yeah. We're not looking for They're customers. They're not looking for that. Can I say the name of the place? It's not the there. Mayfair. No, I don't say it. uh, it's not there anymore. The Mayfair. It's they, not there anymore. Closed. No, it's a famous place now. Yeah. The Mayfair. Yeah. Well, but Norm, I think Howard's right in the sense that that guy Koppelman, who write who wrote Rounders, he's a good guy. I know him too. Yeah. He, yeah. he likes you. No, and he was there all the time. Around. Yeah, he played at the where. Well, right, why couldn't it be his own story if he was there? I might be involved. I knew a guy that was. In the movie Joey Bagels. Yeah, they, they, I, what I hear is that it was based on you, for, yeah. uh, legitimately. He would yeah. watch Norm while he played. So, are, are you going to Vegas with Artie and going to be on Sam Simon's TV show with his gambling? Uh, are you doing that? Right? Yeah, I'm doing it. Are you doing it? <laughs> yeah. He yeah, told me. Right. Yeah, me and him are together going to play poker on television. <laughs> Now, now, how is that going to work for Artie? You know he's going to get into trouble in Vegas. I thought you were. Interested All I know in is like Sam's been to this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this. Uh, uh, Playboy, it's Playboy's Sam Simon's Poker Show, or whatever it's called. Right. But, uh, is it on real TV? Uh, well, I don't know. He's been there more often than you would be for Playboy's Anatomy or something. You right. Know? It's like that kind of a production. So Sam Simon, the guy who created The Simpsons, <laughs> yeah, yeah, has yeah. a gambling show. Yes, a where, poker show where he's the host. And where does it air, do you know? And me and Artie are the guests. And, <laughs> so <laughs> Sam's not gambling. It's the Playboy Channel. Out. It's Playboy the Playboy Channel. Channel. Yeah, that's right. what yeah. Sam told me. Yeah. So it'll be you... And Artie yeah. and Sam. It follows Hef's place. I see. <laughs> so it'll be you, Artie, and Sam up against each other in a battle of yeah. poker wits. But, but hey, you know, don't don't expect you know don't be surprised if there's a streaker. <laughs> It's you the Playboy channel. Right. <laughs> Sam yeah. is the host, but he's gambling as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, Sam's playing. Okay. And early on Hef show before. It gets it's more a... and more interesting. Sam's playing poker as well with us. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and what a bitch. And who, who are the other people that will be playing with you? Dick will Gregory be... and Lenny Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, who, who will be the other people playing at the table? Um, I don't know. Jennifer Tilly. Of course. Is that true? His ex-wife. His ex-wife. Right. And and maybe some other folks. And Phil Locke is uh, Jennifer Tilly's present 
Boyfriend? Boyfriend. Is that the yeah. Unabomber guy? Yeah, the professional You know, the, the professional poker player they call the Unabomber. Oh, the hood. Hood. oh, he's a professional oh. poker player? Sure. He's, he's great. Yeah, he's a going. professional. We're going to go up against a professional and they poker will, player. And what do they do? They give you a certain amount of chips, everyone gets the same amount, and then you have one big winner at the end. Yes. Is that and correct? What's the, what's the prize? It's charity. The prize is uh, it all goes to, uh, you know, good cause. Oh. But do you gamble the same way when you're gambling for a good cause as when you're gambling for yourself? Shouldn't the prize be really money for you? That's a whole different thing. Norm does. Norm's competitive, man. Right. Because, no, but Norm, he does. Are you going to yeah. take it? Do you want to win? Do you want to beat Sam, Simon, and Artie at the uh, poker table for charity? Are you going to be motivated to win this Yeah, thing? well, you want to win for charity because, yeah. you know, it's good stuff for the world and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> and, but you know what I don't like when I come and my charity is not as good as the other people's charities? Right. And then I go, oh, maybe they should win because there's like AIDS in Africa and stuff. All right. And mine's the, uh, like some improvements at the Bel Air Country Club. <laughs> what is your charity anyway? That's it. It's the Bel Air Country Club. Yeah, their, charity? their tennis club. Wow. <laughs> it needs a net. It needs you'll, a net. And you'll get, uh, you'll be get preferential treatment. If you, you want to talk that. about competitive shit. Me and Norm used to play oh, tennis. Oh, tennis. Jesus. Me and Norm played tennis at the, uh, Can't imagine. At the Burbank Country Club because we yeah. shot our show on the Warner Brothers lot. Right. Right. And we got thrown out of the place because we were, I mean, we really got mad at each other for winning and losing. And, uh, you take it seriously. Because we'd yell and stuff and die for the balls, and people would be like in white stuff. David, I, <laughs> I, think, we should be, I think we should have been wearing white stuff in all fairness. <laughs> there was a you do a lot of work for charity like this. You like to participate. Not, not sweatpants. <laughs> you, do a, you do a lot of work for charity, Norman, in the, in the sense that you'll go on TV shows for charity. You did, uh, didn't you do a Celebrity Millionaire or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. And how did you do on that? Did you win money? Yeah. You no, did. I did. The celebrity, the charities did. You were not the celebrity? The charities did. But you were the celebrity on Millionaire. Yeah. Do you remember leukemia? Yeah. We yeah, saw my it. money that pushed it over. This doesn't exist anymore. You got rid of it. I got rid of it. No, you went on Millionaire with Regis, right? Yeah. And Regis asked you questions. Yeah. And then you answered up to, <laughs> did, do I have this right, $500,000 worth of questions? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he won half a million bucks. Half Brainiac. Good for you. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, you're pretty smart. 500000 to get up to. That's pretty good. Norm's a smart motherfucker. But I'm not anywhere close to Brainiac. Well, Brainiac, of course, was invented on Krypton. He's a supercomputer. But yeah. I, I don't say literally. Oh, I was saying, you're comparing no. me. That's high praise. Because well. Brainiac, you could tell even from his head how smart he was. And he had tubes coming out of his head. I don't know. Norm but, picked Paul Newman's charity because Norm wanted to meet Paul Newman. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. You, you, and then, so you gave to his salad dressing yes. empire kind and of And also, it is a great The hole in cause. the wall. The hole in the wall. Yeah. How long ago was this? A couple of years ago? Yeah, yeah. So Paul Newman was... six years ago. So so did Paul Newman call you personally and say to you, hey... No, he wrote a letter. Did he? Yeah. Look at you. Half a million yeah. dollar yeah. contribution. Yeah. And I could have gone to meet him, but then I was too afraid. What do you mean you were afraid? Well, you know, and like it's, it seems like a good idea, but then when it comes down to it, it's just you and Paul Newman. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> a room. Yeah, and you... Yeah. And then you got no stories. Like, what am, what am I gonna, fuck am I going to say? <laughs> go, hey, man, one time Will Ferrell was uh, <laughs> Rob Schneider and yeah. Paul Williams. I'm Rob sure you love it. Are you, you know him at all? Do you know anyone that I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Do, you, know, are you, do you know any entertainers I know? <laughs> you just—that was a great story about you and Redford. Yeah. Uh, listen, <laughs> me and Artie words, Lang. In other words, in other words. So that was Robert Shaw, huh? Hey, uh, <laughs> fucking Bud Friedman's backstage with me. Uh, in, in this guy's words, a character. Uh, what huh? you're saying is Paul Newman wrote you a letter and said, "Why don't you come out to my Paul Newman ranch? Yeah, and hang out with me." Yeah. So but I plus, I, I kind of got the uh, assumption that it would not be just me and Paul Newman. I suddenly had a fucking vision that it might be me, Paul Newman, and very sick children. Oh, God. <laughs> so then it didn't become as appealing. Well, you know what? Gary actually went to Paul Newman's house. Papa Bowie went to Paul Newman's He did? Yes. He was there for some charity event. Oh, not to I harass think it was him. A, right. It was a political thing. A political uh, thing. And Gary was in the barn. In uh, the, yeah. This is Paul Newman has a barn on his property. Yeah. And if he wants to meet with you, he meets with you in the barn where he has all his memorabilia <laughs> from his... Well, now he's dead, but he had all his memorabilia in the barn. Gary, yeah. go so to the barn. You walk around and you look. It's almost like a Paul Newman museum. You see yeah. pictures, you see trophies, you see uh, Academy Award, whatever. And then... Paul Newman appears at the barn, uh -huh. and he speaks oh, with you, uh -huh. and then he leaves. And that would have been it. I'm sure he wouldn't have Oh, that would have been it.